Hey guys, today I am going to be unboxing and reviewing this Athern Ready to Roll SD40. So, um, before I unbox it, I'm just going to say that um, for one of these it's about 115 to 130. I've seen them as low as 110, but maybe even lower than that. I'm not sure. I haven't looked too much for them. So, yeah. To unbox it, like usual, it's just that front piece comes off. And then you have the engine, of course. And that comes out of there. In here, if I can ever get these out. Exploded parts diagram. And this, whatever that is. <laughs> so, yeah, there might be more that comes in there. I don't know, I think I bought this used. I don't remember, it was quite a while ago. So, yeah. It's in this plastic sleeve, obviously, as all Athern, pretty much every modern Athern engine is. And in this top case, there's this bag of plastic parts that are like detail parts, and they're for the fuel tank down here and stuff, and other places. I don't know where those other places are yet. The instructions didn't really, weren't too clear. So yeah, this is... A pretty heavy model. I might I I'll try to weigh it in a minute. Maybe, maybe not. No promises. So yeah, obviously I have the 3300. I don't know too much about the exact engine. So yeah, I know that they're 68 feet, about 68 feet long. Um, they. Yeah, 3,900 were produced, and they're made by General Motors. So, yeah, they started in the early 1970s, started producing them, and then ended in on October 1989. So, yeah, now with the model, um, you've got this really nice plow and the hoses here and a separately applied grab iron right there and I'm gonna grab this real quick this piece of rail so I can point at things better and so then you got a wheel right here a brake wheel and then you got another separately applied grab iron right here on the top with a sand filler hatch. Oops. This sand filler hatch, those two things are cast in, but all the grab irons are separately applied, which is really nice. Um, for this price of the engine, it's a really nice engine. It doesn't have safety tread, and it has the movable windows though. So you could close them or whatever. So yeah. Obviously this window popped out or something. I'm not sure if it is in there or not. I might get in there and look in a little while. I might put a decoder in this. Um, I don't know if I said this already. It doesn't have safety tread. The Athern Genesis ones do. I don't know if Athern Genesis. Pretty sure they have SD40s. And so yeah. It says Union Pacific pulling for the United Way on the side. The, this is all plastic hand or else. So it's kind of flimsy but... If you're careful, nothing will bad lap. And I've had this engine for years and nothing's ever happened. And so yeah, this truck detail down here is very, very nice. So yeah, it has, these are separately applied, that separately applied, this is too, I'm pretty sure. So that's good. This. The body itself, I think, is plastic, but this is actually die cast. I'm almost positive. This engine has some weight to it. So, yeah. 
I'm not trying to make this video too long. I'll try to hurry. This is just um, casting, which it doesn't matter that much. It looks nice anyway, and so is that and that. But when you get to the top, um, I don't, I'll move this up. You have these really nice fans. And there's a horn too right there. So, yeah, and then there's another grab iron right here across that. And there's grab irons all the way down there. Okay. So, on the back, you can see now that it has these hoses again, but it doesn't have a plow. I'm not sure how accurate that is. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a plow. It does have directional lighting in DC, of course. LED lighting. And these are a little flimsy. But if you're careful... I'm going to have to glue that one back in. If you're careful, nothing bad will happen. Um, so like I said, there's no safety thread, but it looks fine. See, so yeah, the other side looks pretty much exactly the same. Once again, you got the posable win the movable windows. But one thing with this, I'd have to say, is it does not have a interior in it, which it's kind of strange. Down inside there, that's all there is, and there's wires. I'm pretty sure if I get this apart, and when I get it apart for the decoder, I will just move those aside and try to get some kind of interior in there. Maybe some figures or something. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. It does, I don't know if I said this already, I might be repeating myself, but it does have the long nose, the long hood. Not the high hood, the long, they're called snoop noses actually, so, yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. Unfortunately, to plug the scale and I had to unplug the lights, so, just bear with me, it's gonna be kinda dark, and if you hear Mario in the background, that's my brother's playing out, um, in the next room, so, um, It's 494 grams, if you can see that. So, I'm not sure how much that converts to, but, I mean, for this size of an engine, it's not too bad. So that pretty much wraps it up on this ready-to-roll locomotive. Um... I know I'm gonna, once I get a decoder and I'm gonna put it with my Atherin Genesis DD40, that's gonna look pretty awesome. Hopefully I can do a video of that when I get it done. So yeah, I know all we have to do is ask Hugo what he thinks. For the first time ever, I'm gonna get a dog's opinion on this locomotive. So he's gonna try to, he's gonna beg if he likes it, and he's not going to beg if he doesn't like it. So, Hugo, do you like the engine? Oh, he likes it. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.